Welcome back to the tutorial. Here we'll be making another screen, north of the one that we made in the last two segments. So, here's the screen we already have. It's already, it's fine for now. It has everything that it needs to. So let's go up one and make a new screen. First, we have to make sure that it lines up properly, because you don't want to ever be able to get stuck in walls. So, got to make sure that those areas are closed off and everything else can be open. Let's put in some ground. And here we're going to make a forest maze. So let's put in some trees. Let's fill the screen up with them. Uh, sure we can make this a little more narrow. Make it look a little bit thicker, I guess. I don't know. Here you'll want to have them line up on the top and bottom and left and right because we're going to make this a Lost Woods area. If you've played the first game you know what the Lost Woods are. It would repeat endlessly unless you went the correct way. So how do we do that? First here we'll need to put in our first screen flag. Up here it's called screen data. I usually call it screen flags because that's what it was called in older versions. So have to check off the use maze path box for that and then to set what we want the path to be we go to path and make it. The exit is down and so you can't have any of the other directions be down or else you'll never be able to get through the maze. So let's say we want it to be left, up, left, right. That works. And now, how would you know how to get through this maze? Well, there has to be a hint of some sort. So we can make a hint cave here. And we'll do that by having you cut one of the trees down. So, how would you know which tree to cut? Let's make it a brown one to make it stand out from the rest. And we'll put on a flag to allow it to be cut. Uh, let's see sword. That's the one that you'll want for this. And now, how does the game know what to put under that when you cut it? You have to set a secret combo. Now here, these are all the different secret combos you can have. There's different ones for burn, arrow, bomb, etc, etc. These ones here are call only. I'll explain that later. But when you activate any secret on a screen, it will activate all the other ones. So, you have to keep that in mind. So for wooden sword, it's the first sword one. So click that, and then it shows all the different combos there are. Let's go to the correct C set, if I can find it. Okay, and then make it a staircase. So now, when you, when you cut the tree, there will be a staircase under it. The staircase is already set to the stairs. Stairs work similar to a cave, except it doesn't have the animation. So we have to set it up the same way as before, with the tile warp. We'll set the guy. We'll make it a mobile one. Uh, room type. It doesn't need to be a half a room type. It can just be an empty room. Let's make the string. The string is... I don't know why I put quotes there the path through this maze is, what was it again, left, up, left, right. That is correct, isn't it? Left, up, left, yes, okay. So then, I already set the guy. I don't want it on fire, I want the mobile. Uh, the message string. And that's it. Now, you might think that we're done here, but once you come out of the cave, how will it know where to put you? you got to set the blue square. So, put the blue square there. And to make this screen a little more lively, we'll put some enemies on it. Let's put in some simple enemies. Put in some Octoroks. Put in 
to a red slow, you just click it, then go down to the one you want, and then hit OK. If you want to copy, you can press the C key and then the V to paste. And let's put in also a fast one. And then that'll be it for now. And to make sure that you know that May has worked, we'll make a little holder screen here. We'll change this one later when we add something else. But for now, that should do. Let's make sure I set everything right, so test the game. Okay. Actually, I just remembered something. Before we play this, let's change that MIDI. So, go to MIDI's. One, you can load any MIDI you want. This is... Uh, I picked one out earlier for this. I'll go to my desktop, because that's where I have it saved. Um, if I can find my desktop. Where is it? There it is. This is the song from New Super Mario Bros. Uh, ground theme. Then play it. So now you can hear that playing. Uh, this is to stop it. Then you have to also set the loop information, or it will probably be weird. So fast forward until the position is similar to the length, and hear how it hear how it loops. Okay, now uh, I think that sounded like. The main part of the song started at 6, so change the loop start to 6. Negative 1 is the same thing as the end. So, let's test it again. See if it loops properly. Uh, actually, I think that was a bit off, let's see. I think it should be 21. Doing this just requires some trial and error until you find what works. Okay, that worked properly. The volume, you can set it to whatever you want. I'll just leave it like that. And change the D map to use that song now. So now when we play it, it should have that song. Start it up. Let's see. It has the song. Get rid of this guy. Get the sword. Then let's test the maze. There's the enemies, just like I put them. Let's cut the tree. It worked right. Go in. Left, then up, then left again, and then right again. And it worked. So, everything worked properly, and I believe that's enough for this segment, so I will see you for part four.